Hello there, it's Keith Lewis here from the RugbyReferee.net team. Um, one of the things that we wanted to um, discuss after the England-Scotland game at the weekend in the 2019 Six Nations was actually an element of law um, based off the back of the Owen Farrell incident um, where there was a either, depending on how you want to view it, a, a late charge um, or a dangerous charge on the Scotland 14 Darcy Graham. Um, we don't have a debate on this um, video about the, the level of the sanction. Um, that's one for the judgment of, of you as a referee and as the, on the referee as the day. What we do want to have a look at is how the game restarts following that incident because the decision you make up front does have an impact on what happens later on. Let's take a look and see if we can explain it. So this is the incident. We have the, the incident there on the screen. Um, then the, the TV incident then shows various replays. So um, play has stopped, had a little bit of a gap in this cut. Um, and then there's a sort of TMO review and they check it all out. Um, then there's a judgment call that's made here about whether that is um, late um, or dangerous. As you'll hear in a moment, um, when Paul Williams discusses it with Ben Skeen, the TMO, they don't actually debate or discuss whether the penalty um, is a for a late tackle um, or for a dangerous charge. Let's see the conversation. So I'm going to restart play here with a penalty to blue. Have you got anything else? That's correct. All right, thank you. It's, sorry? I'm, I'm sad to say that I think it's ended. Darcy Graham's at... Oh, no, Even we're getting ready to restart. And then he gets word in his ear, we think, when you listen to the, the full audio of the clip from the um, assistant referee suggesting that the, the place of the penalty is either um, on the mark where they were about to go from um, or further down the field. As you can then see, all the players are moving down to the place where the ball alighted. And then play restarts. Let's have a look at the law. So, the law clearly states that the location for a penalty um, is the place on the field um, no closer than five metres from the goal line as per the following table. So while the ball is in play, excluding a late charge after a kick, the location of the penalty is at the place of infringement. And this is where we start to think um, we, need to dis we need to be clear on what the penalty is for originally. So from a, if it's a, if it's a late, if, it, if it's a dangerous charge, then the place of sanction is actually back up the field. Um, if you decide that that's a late penalty for a, for a late tackle on the kicker, then the law clearly states that the opposition there either choose at the place of infringement, so where it was, where the ball landed or the ball was next play. So in this case, where the ball landed. The law then goes on to say, if the ball lands or is next played before landing within 15 metres of the touchline, the mark is on the 15 metre line opposite where the ball landed. So going back to the incident, We've clearly got a decision that if it's so if we if we're giving options, it's where the ball was kicked or where it was landed, um, but it's it's where it, if they choose where it's landed, that kick should be taken on the 15 meter line. And as you can see from the clip here, the place the ball was kicked, um, about seven meters out, and Laidlaw then misses. So actually, a, a, a high impact decision as to where the play restarts based on the laws of the game. So there it's really important to, to understand the implications of either of those decisions on the um, late or dangerous charging um, of a player who's just kicked the ball. Um, if you decide that a player has been tackled late, um, then they have the options of the place of infringement um, or the landing zone with that 15 metre um, issue to bear in mind. Um, or if it's just dangerous, just dangerous, then you can deal with it. But the place of infringement, the, the, the penalty is given on that spot. Well, I hope that's an interesting discussion on this um, a bit technical aspect of law, but it is important as we've seen um, from the outcome of the game. So I um, hope you found that an interesting um, video and a, a walkthrough of that. Um, if you find any other issues of law you want to discuss, um, by all means, um, do ask us. We're, we're here to help you um, help you understand the game better or help referee the game better. So if there are issues of law you want us to discuss, do let us know. Um, come and find us on social media. Um, come to the website at rugbyreferee.net. Um, fill in the forms and let us know what clips you'd like us to, um, to give you a steer on. Thanks very much for watching.